Hey guys, I'm Shaft, and today I want to talk to you about burnout. I know burnout is something we all experience from time to time where, quite frankly, you know, we love this game, but we just don't want to play it anymore. And unfortunately, that's reality for all of us from time to time. This video is going to be on how to deal with that, how to motivate yourself to get through those next games. Don't play to win. Don't be attached to the outcome of the game. Whether you win or lose doesn't necessarily matter. For a Zerg player, did you spread your creep right? Is that what you were focusing on? Did you hit all of your inject? Is that what you were focusing on? Focus on little things and achieve those small victories regardless of whether you win the overall game. If you didn't hit your inject but you won the game, you failed your mission. And the mission should be more important than the game. But beyond that, StarCraft is stressful. Sometimes you should do what the fuck you want to do just because you want to do it. It might not be the most effective thing, but sometimes it's fun and it's important not to do things for the result, but for the process, for the fun of it. This will reduce your burnout and helps you begin to learn new things, learn methods through experimentation, your own sense of style, your own sense of doing things. Always playing to win means you lose out on a lot of research and development opportunities. If you're learning from everyone else's advice, from being told on Team Liquid, on the forums, on wherever you happen to go for your information, maybe it's r slash StarCraft, if you're letting them do all the thinking for you, you're going to fall behind because you're not doing your own original thinking. You're going to fall behind on the meta and you're always going to be relying on other people to do R&D for you. It may feel like a waste of time to just do things for fun because it feels right, but sometimes exactly what you need to do and why you need to do it. Sometimes it's great to just play mono battles with your friends. Sometimes it's about ego versus fun. And ego will always burn you out. Anytime you can get it out of your head and into your body, you're going to do better. Get blockages out of the way. Get these mental concepts that probably have no basis in reality out of the way. You know, in a game, you shouldn't be thinking that much. You should just be acting and reacting and it's going to be the actions that matter. Save deeper analysis for replays. Don't get into your own head. Getting in your own head causes blockages, and it's going to interrupt your flow. Use the Triforce model to adapt in a fun and playful manner that creates asymmetrical advantage in your favor. Asymmetrical just means if your opponent has five bases, you probably should be getting your carriers out and going to kill him before that economy gets to a point where you can't no longer do that. You're never going to beat someone at their own game. So create an asymmetrical advantage, not a symmetrical one. But the most important part is overwhelm the thinking mind with action. Many things are actions. One foot in front of the other. Hit the next game button. Schedule replay watching sessions for later. This is playtime. This is replay time. Don't overanalyze your builds, learn better ways to execute your build and new avenues to follow based on that original opener that you use. Completely changing openers can be a huge waste of time. They don't go bad, they just get boring after a while and your joy at using it diminishes. Find new ways to find joy within a build, new ways to make it successful, and only abandon a build when you want to. It may be a waste of time to abandon a build, but remember, sometimes a waste of time might be exactly what you need. But don't just convince yourself that this build is bad and it will never work. If you watch enough pro games, you're going to realize there's a huge variety of builds and they all work in the right hands. Just figure out why. Maintaining passion is hugely important in our community. Don't lose your passion at any cost. Our community is getting too small. We're losing valuable minds, valuable bodies, valuable people. The human resources needed to make this community great. And we can't lose anymore. Keep your passion by having fun. 
not always playing to win. And you're going to notice so much more success in your life, in your ladder games, in everything you do. If sometimes you just suck up your own ego, don't mind looking stupid. Don't mind losing. And focus on what you need to focus on. StarCraft 2 is the shit. If you're just a regular guy who wants to learn StarCraft 2, even if you've been playing for a while and want to get back into it, but you're afraid of how your ego will look if you lose, fuck all of that. The benefits of being a StarCraft 2 player are more important in every respect than any reputational shit or ego shit, which is a bunch of fucking nonsense that you need to get your head out of and enjoy the flow. Get into the flow, get into the game, get into the swag, the joy, the love, the passion. That's what it's all about because StarCraft lives. And we need to move and grow and adapt with it. And the only way to do that is to relax a little. If you want to be notified when we release videos like this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you don't know where that is, I'm not going to teach you how to use the internet. There's probably no hope for you.